Good evening everybody, welcome to Renault.tv. We're going to play some offline name ball and uh, it's going to be in the career mode. Um, it's world ranking event 3. I'm struggling at the minute. As you guys can see, I had a bad start in that match, 7-0 down. Then I won one. Break and run. Three break and runs and a golden break. Got back to... 7-7, seven, seven. so amazing match there. Win 8-7 up, 9-8 down, 10-9 up, 10-10, and won the last rack. So got through that match, then I played Allenville. Uh, again, I was 2-0 up, then 3-2 down, and then got all the way to 10-3, uh, 10-4, and then won the last rack. So I'm up to the godfather of death. Gonna play a few racks this match. I'm not sure if I get all the match finished, but we'll see how we get on. So I've been going through a phase. Anyone who saw me online, I've played pretty, pretty horribly actually. Uh, really, really poorly. So I'm playing, I'm trying to play a little bit of offline to get myself back on track a bit. Um, computer opponents a good, a good uh, I, person to play against. Because they really are a tough opponent. I might go fluked here. Nope, left over. Godfather Death I've played a few times. Not quite sure what he's up to here. Very bizarre. But the good news is I have started to play a little better. Started to be a bit more alive when it comes to position not always the luckiest but uh, I, think I, I think I can cut this in Ooh, just like that so I've started to come up with a little lull Really went in off there. So first rack looks like it's gonna be mine. Not sure what's going on here. Need to get rid of that one. Turn that to silent. Hang on. There you go. Okay, guys. So, um, second rack. Green and the eight ball. Very much the problem in this rack. Let's see how the computer deals with it. Looks like he's going to play safe here. It's not a bad idea because the chances are he's going to either have me knock the reds out, knock the balls out, or I think I fouled there. Yeah, didn't hit a rail, which is disappointing. So he might try and open the balls up here, which he has done. So that's a very nice shot. Well thought out by the computer. That's gone awkward. He's played a safety and he's played a good one. Oops. I haven't played well there. Eh? 
so it looks like we're going to be 1-1. One, one. Oh, are we? <laughs> That's how you do that. That's a lovely shot. So I'm going to take this opportunity to tell you about a series that I'm planning on doing. I'm trying to get this white behind this red. Not just, not quite made it. Um, I had a really good match, if you look for the, one of my videos recently. I had a really good match against the Destroyer. That could be enough. Nope, not quite. Uh, on 8-Ball. So I'm going to do a long series on 8-Ball against the Destroyer. Um, try and spin around here. It's not the worst shot I've ever played, not the best. Um, not sure how long I'm going to play. This could be a foul if it doesn't quite reach the back, but either way it's actually left it on. So first really good chance of this mat of this rack to me. Probably going to do a race to maybe 50 and see how I get on against the computer. The last one I did was against Swizzle in a 9-ball one. But it's about finding the really good computer opponents to... To have these matches against. Um, please for that one. So, lots of top spin, just leave myself an angle and then up straight up and down on this shot. A little bit of right to check the white. That should hopefully be easy on the nine. Go 2 1 up. Not sure if I've got a shot here. That doesn't go. Try and get behind the green here. Oh, I hit it. Didn't want to hit that ball. I'd be fine if I hadn't hit the black. So I'll, I'll give... Uh, oh, now. Well, it's not going to matter because I'm very much stuck. Maybe a bit of right-hand side. That's not going to be a million miles away. Oh, not too far away, but it was a really hard escape. There's a white ball. You see that too often for me. But it's good practice because the online game is turf. Play good players. But sometimes the way you think about shots changes. Like, for example, I just knock these in without really thinking. Um... You do find yourself thinking more when you play online, so it's a good habit to get into, just potting the balls without really thinking about it. So, first mini session done, and it's 3-1. No messing about, let's get the balls broken. Knock that out of the way, that'll do. So, chance to run out. Now, my stats have unfortunately deteriorated, because they made the game a little bit harder, they made the break harder, and they made the game just slightly harder as well, so... Um, unfortunately, my run-out stats were as high as 22%, uh, but have now shrunk to below 21%. Now, it doesn't sound like a lot, but I know how hard it is for these um, to get the stats moving. So, because I've played 13,000 racks, it takes a lot of racks run out to to get into the stats a bit. So, Hold on. now this is a tough shot here. I've left myself far too thin, so I'm gonna have to go up and down twice so this really could go anywhere I need a bounce on that it's actually worked out alright but more by good luck than good management there again I'm going to hit it hard and hope I don't go in off and I've eventually got a run out here so 4-1 so that's quite good um, but again I'm a bit lucky Balls down. Any nice friends? Nope. Trying 
trying to get past the. Oh, I didn't quite make it. I also had the insurance there of the yellow ball be pr probably not going to be left on, and the white tin off here. So, is there any merit here in going for the combo? Probably not. So, anything towards middle bag will do. Um, could probably knock the nine towards the pocket here. I might get it. No, I didn't get it. Uh, so again, just screw down for the four. Oh, and I missed it. That's bad. Oh, very nearly went in off again. So. Nice run out. Should have been mine. But 4 2. So I can do that. Probably going to get the combo here. I didn't make it though. So, um, well, and truly got me stuck there. Well, I missed it. That was a silly shot. I should have thought more about that one. So, 4 2. Could be 4 3 if he runs out here. It's going to speed the shots up a little bit once we know where it's going. And that's a nice looking shot there. Very nice indeed. Really good position. Where's the white ball? Just caught that knuckle just the edge of the pocket there. Didn't want the hit on the, the 7. But a nice kiss on the 6. It's going to be leaving himself a thin cut on the 8, but the 9 is exactly where you want the ball to be. And in the end, a nice run out by the computer for 4-3. So, looking to maintain an edge in this run by running out here. I'm going to try and hold the white. That's a nice shot. Uh, probably going to go straight up and down here. Might leave a combo on. Need that to miss the knuckle. Just about so. I'm going to go for the combo here. Got it. So 5 3. Could do with a nice kiss. Oh, I haven't got it. It would have been perfect if that six wasn't there. Um, I might be able to get this in off the six. No, I've left it. Poor, poor shot there. No wonder I lose. Play silly shots. Far too attacking. So the computer is quite rightly going to destroy me. That's an odd looking shot there. The brown will go. But it's getting on this 8. Is, oh well the computer's played a really top draw shot there. It had to be that good. Otherwise it wouldn't have been possible to have that one. So we're about halfway through. If it does go the distance. And. Not sure this goes mine. Did I hit that one first? Oh, well, apparently so. Well, good play. Ooh, went for a combo and it was a very, very unlikely one. So I'll take that one as a, a bit of a gift, although I've given it straight back, which is unforgivable. God. Well, I made a mess of it as well. Jesus. Talk about sticking it up. God's sake. Idiot. Oh, shit. Yep, side spin will be seeing that alright. Ah, he's sticking this one. Shit. God's sake. Uh. Well. 
Nobody but myself to blame for this shit. No, so I need to jump it, but try not to. So that'll do. Try to make the most of this chance. Still not, still not good. Like Jesus missed again. Might have spawned it. Well, I'm playing badly. I'm going to do one of my silly ones again. Oh, that's one way of getting myself the chances I don't deserve, and I've still messed it up. Well, I need to. I need the clutch action here. There we go. Five five. Got pull these shots out the bag, baby. Right, come on. Be chopping it away. Look at the state of the six. The only good thing is the white's gone behind it. Um, no, thank you, sir. Left it at least. God, swollen again. Thought I got rid of all the struggles. Come on. My sighting seems to have gone a little bit funny. I can't really explain why that is. Right, so I figure that's probably the safe, safest way of doing it. And hopefully if I take a two frame lead things are starting to look up for this match. Ooh. Opportune moment to knock a nice break together. Need a bit more angle, there we go. Oh no, that didn't go well. Hmm. That was a nice shot. Stop the white dead, put the yellow round the table. And the white's in off. So let's um let's get these balls run out. So I might be looking at a three frame win here of our lead. If I can run these balls out. Some reason I just thought that might be missing. I think one of my problems is my concentration levels have gone a bit stupid. So I'll run out again. Um I can't really put my finger on why that is. I just think maybe I'm getting a bit overconfident that I'm not gonna miss and I'm I'm taking liberties. I found that in the online game sometimes I'm thinking, you know without without being super arrogant, I'm kinda of thinking I'm gonna win. Without even like, we've just been a bit overconfident, you know, just thinking I'm gonna win this game by just turning up. It's not saying I'm underestimating people, I just feel that I'm gonna get chances and I'm gonna win. It doesn't always happen. So just that extra thought we're going to try and put into it now that we're not going to necessarily clear up. We're just going to play the right shot rather than just a quick shot. It's 
see if we can't just be professional. What's the word? Our new word. Our new word is professional. This one. I'm going to try and hit into the 9 and the 8 here. Trying to squeeze this one in. Oh no, I didn't hit them, but I got a bit lucky that the white just came around anyway. Uh, so we'll just need to think, leave that black until a little bit later. Probably the ideal time is to try and get it off the 5. Need to just roll us in, try to land high on the really made a mess. Well, that might be good. No, didn't get the chance. So, what do I do here? Try and screw into it. It's all about speed control. Using the curve. Oh, didn't get it. Oh, I didn't get it. See how far I missed that by here. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> I thought I had that one. Right. So let's go for the double. Want to get lucky. Oh, I got lucky. Yeah, that was always on. So that was a bit of a turning point. 9 6 to 10 5. So hopefully that means I'm. All but home and dry in this match now. Just barring a. Gonna push. That's the right shot to play. Uh, probably just. Knock this five safe. Out tacticalize the gent. And that's not in. So now I'll probably regret doing that, but I might try and open it up. Oh, how's that for a shot, lads, eh? I think Mel 255's done. Check that out. So, chance now to wrap it up. You'd need that to slow a bit, but it's actually very good. And uh, it looks like that great shot on the two has set me up for, a, in the end, a, a comfortable victory. So this nine ball for a place in the last eight on the winner's side. Boom. Mal, Mal Clark wins. Let's have a look and see what that means for the draw then. The Destroyer, Mad Max beat the Giant Killer 10-9. Destroyer destroyed the Cannon 11-3. So they play in the next round. The next half of the draw, pro with the show, Mr. Steve Dakin, dominated that match. The ref managed a bit of a comeback, but to no avail. So he was actually 10 to be up, so Steve's playing well. That I'll play them, winner of that. In the other half of the draw, uh, G beat Frank the Barber 11-9. And the Omen, Damian Massey, lost to Pink Panther. So they face off. And finally, the Dazzler, Darren against Chris Magnuson. That's a very tough part of the draw there. So you've got the Dazzler. Any of those guys could win through. Just looking at the other side of the tournament. Allenville, the Lightning. Uh, Bevins. Looks like Louis's gone out, which is rare. wonder what happened to him. Louis, yeah, went out to junior. Oh, no, Louis's still in. Louis could always... He's always a good player in this, in this game. See what the rankings are. You guys can see... I am not doing very well. No sign of me. I'm playing Steve next. I am languishing. Where am I? There I am, 31st. So I'll certainly be going higher. Um, there's my VP4 player doing pretty badly. So we'll have to see how I get on. My statistics. 13,000 racks played in this career. 0.801. It's been as high as 805, but coming down. That's dropped. Run out from the break nearly 1,500 times. 
and my next break is my 7000 so thank you for watching guys take care of yourselves and I will see you on the next runout.tv 9 ball video which will be very soon as you guys uh, know oh don't want to delete see you later